tonight, when the Reverend Billy Graham talks, no doubt about it, people listen. And he hopes his full-page newspaper ads will get people to the polls on Tuesday to vote for North Carolina's marriage amendment. It says, quote, at age 93, I never thought we would have to debate the definition of marriage. Fox Carolina's Derek Dellinger is live tonight in Asheville with more on this controversial story. Derek. Yeah, well, the Reverend Billy Graham made the comments about Amendment 1. Now, uh, it's on the ballot this Tuesday in North Carolina and defines marriage as between a man and a woman. Now, people who are in support of Amendment 1, they say Graham's comments mean the world to them. But those who are against Amendment 1 say Graham has it all wrong. At 93, I never thought we would have to debate the definition of marriage. The Bible is clear. God's definition of marriage is between a man and a woman. I want to urge my fellow North Carolinians to vote for the Marriage Amendment on Tuesday, May 8th. God bless you as you vote, Billy Graham. For Gail Harding, she's been working to see Amendment 1 get passed. She's the Buncombe County Volunteer Coordinator for Vote for Marriage NC. And to see those words from Billy Graham, it means a lot. And large, the Christian community who try to live their lives by the teachings of the Word of God and have respect for Billy and what he has done will be influenced by what he has to say. And while the Reverend Billy Graham is seen as a highly respected figure, especially in Western North Carolina, where Graham lives, his views aren't being met with universal approval. Amendment 1, in its broad definition, which is very poorly written in my estimation, uh, really affects heterosexual couples more than it affects gay or lesbian couples. Reverend Joe Hoffman is part of a contingent of religious leaders across the state that have come out opposing Amendment 1. He says by its broadest definition, Amendment 1 would mean that marriage between a man and a woman would be the only legalized relationship in the state. He says common law marriages may not be recognized, that children of unmarried parents could lose health insurance, and that domestic violence protections could be at threat. For Hoffman, he says Graham has it all wrong. He might be well respected in this community. I think he probably is by a lot of people. And he was by me once upon a time. But I think the world is changing and that God is still speaking and that relationships are about who loves each other and that's what's important. Harding says the claims others are making about Amendment 1 aren't true. It's just about marriage. And Harding says that last minute push from Reverend Billy Graham may make all the difference. By and large, he is well respected. He has certainly lived a life above reproach. We can't throw any stones at him. And again, Tuesday is the big day. Precincts all across the state are reporting a larger than normal early voting. Now, coming up in the, later on in the newscast, we actually have comments from a group that says they are disappointed in Billy Graham, and you'll hear from them. We are live tonight in Nashville. Derek Dellinger, Fox Carolina News Tonight.